Tests conducted by the Wall Street Journal and the Canadian Center for Child Protection found that major brand ads could be served alongside sexually explicit images when they aim to replicate the behavior that a child predator might engage in on Instagram. Namely, searching for images of child gymnasts, cheerleaders, and similar content while also seeking out adult sexual content. In a response, Meta says that the prevalence of inappropriate content on Instagram is low and that they're invested in continuing to reduce it. A statement to the journal saying, these results are based on a manufactured experience that does not represent what billions of people around the world see every single day when they use our products and services. We tested Reels for nearly a year before releasing it widely with a robust set of safety controls and measures. In 2023, we auctioned over 4 million Reels per month across Facebook and Instagram globally for violating our policies. Joining us right now is Jeff Horowitz, who is Wall Street Journal technology reporter and the author of Broken Code, Inside Facebook and the Fight to Expose Its Harmful Secrets. Jeff, I want to thank you for being here. Certainly. All right. Clear up some of the confusion that I have on this, at least. I mean, I look at this and it sounds like there are multiple layers of potentially bad things happening here. The first would be, is there child pornography or child pornographic content on Instagram? So I think the right way to think about Instagram's role in that really unfortunate ecosystem is kind of the top of the sales funnel in the sense that uh, you know, what we were running into wasn't people actually posting child sexual exploitation content directly on the platform. Uh, it was um, people advertising that stuff and basically recruiting for it. Uh, because I think the thing that, that our tests come down to and that nothing that Meta's comments there uh, really sort of address is the tendency of the platform to serve users who are interested in that content as much of it as it can find from any source whatsoever. So this isn't just, you know, our test accounts followed some bad people and saw some bad things as a result. This is that literally just following uh, young gymnasts and uh, uh, cheerleaders on Instagram, like we're talking, you know, 12 to 14 year olds here, uh, is enough for the platform to start trying to see if the user wants to start looking at uh, adult porn. Um, and uh, that's because they know that the majority, that a large portion of the followers of these kids uh, are adult men who are interested in kids and sex and possibly the combination of the two. And so the second. algorithm. Back, back this up. I mean, that's a problem. If the algorithm is looking at me that I am interested in watching 12 year old to 14 year old cheerleaders and gymnasts, they're going to start pitching me adult porn sites, that, ads. That, what, yes, are, what are they pitching me? That's exactly what. So it'll be promotions for adult content creators. It'll be pictures of, um, you know, teens in bathing suits. Um, it'll be uh, and then if you connect with the people who are um, actually following the, the the gymnasts, like the you know, which is, again, a population very heavy on adult men. Uh, you end up with getting these recommendations from Instagram uh, that has recognized what the user is interested in or at least believes it has and uh, we'll begin serving up um, promotions for uh, child porn um, trading groups. Uh, it will begin serving up- um, How do they even get, I mean, the, the idea that they are serving anybody child porn groups, that in itself is a problem. I mean, the, the idea yeah, yeah, that they are is, serving this that is a to anybody. This is a recommendation system, right? So I think okay. something that we haven't really gotten into in the social media world as much as uh, would be good is just the distinction between what you host on your platform and what you recommend on your platform, right? And this is a recommendation problem. They are um, literally scouring billions of posts on the platform for pictures of kids in their underwear for the demographic that wants to see that. And that's um, obviously- uh, Look, The idea that they're serving design. this up is insane. The idea that they even allow it on the site is a problem as far as I'm concerned. It, it's not, you know, they're, they're saying that it's not a large portion, it's a very small portion of what's out there. But if you had, let's say, three child, uh, three pedophiles hanging out at Chuck E. Cheese, that would be three too many. There'd be a zero oh, tolerance. It's, it's, yeah, this isn't, this isn't, a small portion for them, of course, keep in mind, is hundreds of thousands, if not millions of accounts. And I think the thing that, that our test demonstrated is that this isn't something slipping through. This is what the algorithm is intentionally doing and they so have they failed to there. If they know it's there instead of serving it up, why aren't they shutting it down? 
Uh, yeah, the idea of if you can recommend uh, child exploitation content, why can't you not recommend child exploitation content is a completely fair one. Um, the answer is that their recommendation systems are um, kind of black box. They are blind. They don't know what um, a content is. Um, it's actually much harder to tell what content you're recommending than it is to successfully personalize um, because that's just based on network behavior, right? All of the pedophiles on the platform. So their, their excuse the will be that they are they are not actual purveyors of this stuff. It's they have no idea that it's child pornography that they're sent, serving up to you. Um, they, uh, yeah, I, I shouldn't I shouldn't speak for them. They, you know, you've read you sort of stated their statement at the beginning in terms of this, but they are. Um, I mean, they, they, they have a system that is functionally recommending this stuff, um, and it's recommending it from users that you don't follow, right? I think that's a very key distinction, is that this is literally just scouring for content on the platform that might be of interest, and it, it leads to some pretty uh, jarring and unfortunate things, and also directly next to major brand ads. And that's one thing we haven't talked about, is just that uh, this stuff is being subsidized by... Um, Ads for Apple, Which Walmart. Um, maybe uh, the thing that eventually. Sorry, maybe for, for for Disney, Walmart, and and uh, and you know dating sites. In fact, right. and some of those companies have pulled their ads.